the Sonic or the beast of the beast, the killer of killers. The devastation of a little beam weapon is unreal. However, the stats aren't that impressive, but they are decent for a secondary, because look at that viral. It's very nice. But raw damage here, three mods, Hornet, Barrel, Lethal, everyone normally uses them for everything. Pummel, I'm sorry if you ain't got that, but you can use Prime Heater Charge, I should do the same, really. Fire damage, open, oh, making blast there. Dum dum dum, you gotta sort your configuration there, if you are. Uh, and then I've just got the raw damage at the bottom, so I've got the two event mods, or well, not really event anymore, but, and then just the two raw damage mods, just to help, like mad. Now this weapon is, in my opinion, very weird to use, because it says zero percent status chance. Operator, However, uh, will you begin another mission? Maybe, maybe not. However, this weapon is rich in damage. It's fun to use. However, zero percent status chance. However, it does proc, and I don't know why. And the crit chance is only ten percent, but. It either has a really big spike of how much damage like crit it can do, or it has really low chance now and then. It's just one of those weapons that are just very weird to look at the stats. But when you're using it in combat, it wins at life. And yeah, it is just magnificent. You are here on a capture mission. You must I know. find, capture, and extract our target. No, I thought I had to give him a wedgie. Won't be enough to stop us. <laughs> These are not Corpus, though. The Orokin. God. <laughs> now, let's see, show. I'm hoping these ones proc viral to show you. Oh. You wanna proc viral, please? Oh, yeah. They even got viral proc on him. Ow. That's not fair. Okay. He had viral proc on him. I'll get viral back. Oh, you're dead. And you're dead. And you're dead. Wow. These <laughs> Why don't you want to proc vial for me? Come on. Oh. Uh, anyway. It's amazing to CC. Because sort of, you don't have to kill him. You can just run past him like that. And just go. Pop. Did I even hit that one? No, I didn't. Don't put the name then. But there's a few things that this weapon has. That's quite a bad problem. As shown. The reload speed. And the range of the burst of that. It's handy when you're chasing targets like the Grenier then. But if you're like going to actually like try hitting something at range. Let's see if something. Yeah that's. Oh look. No. You can't get him. There you go. Look how far I had to walk forward compared to what it needed to. And it's just a pain in the ass. But that's the best. Just watching them fall over. And then watching he die instantly. And this weapon, I'm not sure what mastery rank you can get it at. However, if you like, if you can get it, get it, because it's that type of weapon that destroys everything really easily. Because, oh, yep, yeah, bye. <laughs> you died, Mister. Try again. Okay. But look at this. It just causes devastation. Damn it, you should have landed on the sofa where that Oh. Bla oh, you're not meant to sleep behind the sofa, Jeffrey. No. No. Nah, never mind. Definitely New Year's Eve hangover. Right there, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, the hangover. Nah. But, this weapon is very fun to use. Not the p most powerful of secondaries, but fun as hell to use. It's like, oh, that's a crap comparison. Fun as hell, we burn people in hell. Da -da -da. Nah. This weapon just wrecks. If you don't want to use the Tonkel and you want something that's very similar but a beam instead this is the white weapon for you and let's do some karate with this in our hand can we see it 
Oh no, we can't say it. No, get out of it. Nope, get out of it. Thank you. But this weapon wins at killing. But that's all I'm going to say about it. Thank you guys for watching and see you.